Oh, hello. Why, hello there. So, <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be recording a live drawing of me drawing on this lovely piece of regular uh, printer paper. It's just, I don't know, I've just been wanting to do that. I got my coffee, ding, ding, and a Micron pens. And you know, it's funny, uh, I mess up a lot. We all do. And I actually already recorded this, but my stinking hair kept getting in the dang frame. And I have no clue what I'm doing. Yeah, it, yeah. So, but I drew this. This is my last drawing that I did for that last video that my hair kept getting in the way of. That's pretty cool. It's a head. But, um, you know, we're going to start fresh. We're going to try again. I'm going to try again. Not we, but I am. And, you know, I'm going to use this lovely Micron pen. It's going to be the 08. And I'm going to answer some questions. You can see in the corner. Look at that. <laughs> my handwriting. We really, really. Um, I'm going to answer some questions that you guys asked. There's only a few. There was a few questions, and mostly were just, check out my page. Hello. Hey. Oh. There weren't questions. That's not what I asked for. Sorry. But, so I'm going to answer these questions. But one, two, three, four of them. And I'm going to draw a little bit for you. And I don't know what I'm going to do, but I think what it best is to start off with just a random line. Just like that. Cool. Yeah. And it's all coming off, off my head. No idea where this is going. It's a really fun thing to do. It's fun exercise and keeps, you know, the brain... Uh, just flowing, if you know, you know what I mean. And, um, yeah. Okay, so, let's see. The first question comes from Nobody Clothes. Clothes, with the T-H. And his question is, what was, hopefully, I really hope my f dang hair isn't in the, in the thing. Uh, whatever, I'll try not to. Oh, well. Uh, first question is, what was the last movie you went to, and what did you think? Well, um, last movie I went to go see was the new Star Wars film. That's the one I saw in theaters. And personally, I apologize if you hear any background noise, by the way. Um, I am in a basement. Nothing I can do about it. Um, I'm, yeah, that's. I think that's just me. I think I'm the only one who really cares. So we'll <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, first first uh, thing, first movie I saw was the Star Wars film. Not first, the one I saw most recently, and I really liked it, despite whatever about it. Most critics and such think. Let me just zoom in here for you. Give you a closer look. And I, I personally, I enjoyed it. You know, it's, there's a lot of fan service. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I, you know, I, I expected an entertaining film. And that's what I got. You know? I wasn't expecting, like, um, some artsy, like, really incredibly incredible movie. It was, but in, in just in different ways. I almost went into that. I went into that film like like a theme park ride, if you know what I mean. I don't expect it to be. It's just like it's a short. It's just fun. Um, yeah, but otherwise, other than that, I did go. I did recently watch The Lighthouse on my own time um, at home. I rented it. That movie, holy crap, is fantastic. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's um, starring Robert Pattinson. And 
Robert, Robert Patty, <laughs> and uh, it it's just a it's a very good movie. It's black and white, it was made last year. It's right up there. It's between that and Midsummer, the movies last year. Yeah. Next question. Next question comes from Wilson Meyer Mayer twenty three Meyer. I don't. I honestly don't know how to pronounce those names. <laughs> Uh, Wilson Mayer Meyer 23 <clears throat> He's a good buddy of mine And his question is How's the mock-ups going? And of course he's referring to a project That we're working on And uh, You know, slow and steady my friend Not much progress In terms of what um, I've come up with It's a very Daunting task You know it's a tough one, so I'm trying to take my time with it, and we'll see what happens. The next question comes from uh, Frank Dot Wilder, and ooh, I'm gonna turn a page here. Oh, if my ooh my hair, I will. Uh, ooh, I don't want it in the camera. Anyways, how would your friends describe you, Frank Wilder? Well, thank you for asking your question. I appreciate it. Um, how would my friends describe me? Well, hmm. Mostly, I get, um, you know, a Western lowland gorilla. Some people, you know, call me that, or uh, or describe me as like a Western lowland gorilla, like a. Like a, uh, I can't remember the name. Um, next question comes from lovely Alexa Lott, and her question is an, is a fun one. If you owned a boat, what would you name it? And then she proceeds to say, I would name, I'd name mine the Wet Dream. Wow, isn't that just wonderful? Well, that's a wonderful name for a boat, and I do say so. If I do say so for m myself, I would have to agree with you on that one. That's a good name for a boat. It's incredible. <clears throat> that is definitely on my list of boat names, and of the boats I do so ever wish to acquire. But... I would say my my uh, name for a boat hmm. probably be the big the big the big one or uh, bo boaty or something. I like the big one. And that is all the very very important questions that I desperately really needed to answer. And I'm so thankful that I, you know, took this opportunity to answer those life or death questions that you want, uh, all asked me. All is, is great. Really appreciate it. Anyways, I'll be uh, doing more questions for the next video, and I think the next one I'm just going to do a time lapse again. But this, you let me know if you like the this style of video instead. Or not instead. Just whatever one you like, if you like this one or not. So, you can see here, I'm literally just <clears throat> almost outlining everything. And uh, making mistakes as I go. But, you know, we just work with it. As long as you're having fun, I feel like there's no need to, you know, that's the most important part, right? <clears throat> and, you know, I feel like you should never go into a piece expecting a masterpiece. I, I think the biggest part is just to have a good time.
Otherwise, art just becomes work. You know, it's not as uh, it's not fun. Maybe it is to some people. Who am I to say? You know, everyone's different. But for me personally, I just like to have as much fun as possible, and I feel like my hair is in the thing. So we'll see when I look at it. I'm gonna keep this one. <clears throat> But, like I said, the most important part is just to have fun with it. You know, don't expect, don't expect too much. And if you want to, if you feel like drawing, but you, you know, tell yourself you can't draw, that is something that a lot of people struggle with, and what I struggled with, I feel like everyone kind of does, especially in the early stages. <coughs> But I think if you're if, if you should just just draw, just take this. Don't even consider drawing. Just take a pen or a pencil or whatever you're comfortable with, and just go. Blah, blah, blah. Just try it sometime. See what it's like. If it doesn't work for you, then that's that's cool. You know, like I said, everyone's different. But. I think for me, I get most of my inspiration just from the way the pen feels on the paper and the way and the patterns that I've created. And I think, and it just like feels, it feels good. And for this drawing here, <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of go a little faster because we are at 11 minutes. And I'm thinking about turning this little guy into some weird looking jellyfish thing. Yeah, I'm having a great time. <coughs> Take a drink of my coffee. Oops, almost spilt it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That, isn't that cool? Wow. Give it a little extra little tentacles coming out the side. That's pretty neat, I'd say. It's, de it's not centered, but we'll see. You know, and this is... Um, I'm just going to do this. Burped. Excuse me. Oops. There we go. Wow. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to call it. This is uh, <coughs> the finished product. Oops. Forgot something. Just do a little meat. 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 20. Wow, it's 2020 already. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Well, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, let me know if you like the style of this video. Um, I'm probably going to do whatever uh, whatever I want still, but <laughs> I do enjoy your feedback. I really appreciate it. Trust me, I do. I did it. And this is, looks like a, some sort of squid thing. I guess, with uh, multiple heads. Or it could be... Uh, uh, my friend called, oops, uh, and I just had a thought, I'm going to add this, this thing. This uh, this is the gray pen that I always use. Pen marker. And I'm just going to do this quick. Trace it. Yeah, and I'm using my phone to record these videos at the moment. Yeah, 
and I just recently sneezed, so, uh, uh, you know, you know what I hate, ugh, one thing I don't like is when I'm at my normal job, and, uh, I'm a wait assistant at a local restaurant here, excuse me, I burped it, in town. One thing I hate is when you have to, you're holding, or you're out in the lobby, and you have to hold in your sneeze, or you're holding two plates of food, uh, and you're on your way to a table, and you have to sneeze like a freaking, like, freaking gun, like a shotgun, and you have to hold it in, otherwise it'll be like a big shotgun blast of, of snot all over either their food or a loud noise and that's something I, I'm not a big fan of having to hold your sneeze in <clears throat> alright well that's officially the end of the video now here we go wham there it is I'll post a picture of it it's pretty cool and I'll also you know what I'll just post a picture of this one too might as well let me know which one you like better um they're both pretty fun. <clears throat> Next week, I'll probably do a normal time lapse and answer more questions. All right, well, you have, you guys have a lovely rest of your day and have a fantastic rest of your week. You're all amazing. Thank you for all your support and love. All right, goodbye, everyone.